Imagine a world where certain creatures, which once roamed the earth, have faded into the pages of history. These are not your favorite cuddly pets or majestic beasts, but rather animals that might make you breathe a sigh of relief knowing they no longer exist. From bizarre critters with strange habits to menacing predators, this video delves into the animals that might just make you thankful for their extinction. So, prepare to embark on a journey through time and discover the fascinating tales of these vanished creatures that have left a mark on our planet. Please subscribe to our channel and let's go! Megatherium Megatherium, a genus of ground sloths, existed from the early Pliocene until the end of the Pleistocene epoch. Despite their name, these sloths were not cuddly but massive creatures that could have posed a significant threat if they survived. During the Pleistocene, these elephant-sized giants roamed the Pampas region of southern Bolivia. They weighed around 4 metric tons, stood at 2.1 meters in height, and measured 6 meters from head to tail. Imagine encountering a huge creature resembling an Asian elephant but with a dangerous demeanor. Megatherium's skeletal structure, with a robust pelvic girdle and strong tail, provided stability for foraging at heights other herbivores couldn't reach. Despite being essentially quadrupeds, their trackways suggested an unexpected ability for bipedal locomotion. Megatherium's small cone-shaped mouth and prehensile lips indicated a selective approach to plants and fruits. These picky eaters meticulously chose vegetation with their lips, hindered by fused neck bones that limited tongue movement. Their teeth were adapted for shredding, with interlocking V-shaped surfaces designed for efficient chewing. These monster sloths once inhabited South America's forest and grassland ecosystems, particularly the pampas. Titanoboa Titanoboa, a colossal snake with a lethal reputation, posed an unthinkable threat to any living being it encountered. This predator, even more fearsome than the daring anaconda, existed around 60 million years ago during the Paleocene period. Imagine a snake so massive that it could dwarf a school bus, with estimated lengths of up to 10 meters and a weight of 2,500 pounds. The sight of Titanoboa's gleaming scales, the color of nightfall, and its sinuous movement sent chills down the spine of any observer. It thrived in the warm and humid jungles of the Paleocene era, particularly in what is now Karachan, Colombia. These lush tropical woods were home to a diverse range of flora and wildlife, making it a safe haven for this massive snake. As the apex predator in its ecosystem, Titanoboa ruled over marshes and rivers teeming with fish, turtles, and other reptiles. Its enormous size set it apart from any other snake in history, making it the largest snake to ever exist. Researchers believe it adapted to a fish-based diet, with specialized tooth morphology and palate shape for aquatic food. Spinosaurus the Spinosaurus was a formidable presence among prehistoric predators living in North Africa during the late Cretaceous period, nearly 99 million years ago. This dinosaur, whose name translates to spine lizard, was a potential danger to humanity if it had survived. Imagine encountering a Spinosaurus, up to 15 meters long and possibly weighing around 8 metric tons. Its massive size alone would instill fear in anyone who came across it. The Spinosaurus had a distinctive appearance, with a small snout and straight conical teeth, including a terrifying bite with a gap between its front and massive lower teeth. It possessed a long, strong neck that formed an attractive S-shape, broad shoulders, powerful forelimbs with three clawed digits, and a unique sail-like structure made of long neural spines along its back. While some debate the sail's purpose, it added to the creature's overall terror. The Spinosaurus is renowned for its eating habits, possibly being a fish eater due to its extended jaws and elevated nostrils. It might have been an opportunistic hunter and scavenger, with evidence suggesting it also preyed on pterosaurs and possibly had a preference for fishing. In comparison to the fearsome T-Rex, the Spinosaurus was even more colossal, overshadowing its size with an imposing presence. However, we can take solace knowing that the Spinosaurus is long extinct, and we no longer need to face its terrifying existence. Deinonychus Deinonychus, meaning terrible claw, was a dinosaur that existed during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 15 million years ago. 
This predator could have posed a significant threat to our species due to various factors. Denonychus, a fearsome creature, measured up to three and a half meters in length. Its skull, around 410 millimeters, had powerful jaws with about 70 curved, blade-like teeth. Paleontologist John Ostrom's reconstructions of the skull depicted it as wide and triangular, enabling it to deliver crushing bites to its prey. The creature's large hands boasted three sharp claws on each forelimb, adding to its menacing appearance. Its second rear foot finger featured a sickle-shaped claw, likely used for attacks. While no skin impressions have been found with Deinonychus fossils, it is widely believed that dromaeosaurids like Deinonychus were feathered animals, adding to their frightening appearance. Host's Eagle In the lush forests of New Zealand's South Island, an incredible species once soared through the sky, the Host's Eagle. This extinct eagle was one of the largest true raptors, both in length and weight, making it an awe-inspiring predator. If it had not gone extinct, our favorite tourist sites might have become some of the most perilous locations on the planet. Host's eagle was remarkable in its size, with females significantly larger than males, weighing around 10 to 15 kilograms and possibly more than 16.5 kilograms. While its wingspan was relatively modest, reaching up to 2.6 meters and potentially exceeding 3 meters in certain cases, it was still on par with giant female eagles of other species. This adaptation allowed the host's eagle to easily navigate through New Zealand's dense forests. Contrary to popular belief, host's eagle did not evolve flightlessness. Instead, it developed large wings to suit its wooded habitat. The examination of its wing and leg remnants reveals intriguing connections to extant eagles like the Harpy Eagle, Philippine Eagle, and Stellar Sea Eagle. These modern eagles, like their extinct counterpart, adapted to forest life by reducing their relative wing length. The talons of Host's eagle were comparable to those of the Harpy Eagle, showcasing its powerful hunting capabilities rather than a scavenging lifestyle. With muscular legs and massive flying muscles, these eagles could take off with a forceful leap despite their impressive size. While extinct now, the legacy of the host's eagle provides us with a glimpse into the incredible adaptations of ancient predators. Smilodon The notorious saber-toothed predator, Smilodon, roamed America during the Pleistocene period, which spanned from 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. Despite being commonly associated with tigers, Smilodon wasn't related to current cats. This ferocious feline was a true monster among felids, weighing a terrifying 466 kilograms and standing at a towering height of 120 centimeters. Its upper canine teeth were slender, fragile, and extraordinarily long, housed in a gaping maw perfect for precision attacks. As apex predators armed to the teeth, Smilodons were experts at dispatching large herbivores like bison and camels, using their muscular forelimbs to immobilize prey and delivering bone-chilling bites. Around 10,000 years ago, as most of North and South America's megafauna perished, this fearsome predator followed suit. The exact reason for its disappearance remains uncertain, with theories pointing to factors like dependency on large prey, climate change, and competition from other species contributing to its demise. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please make use of the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification icon so we can keep in touch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.